we're recording. Okay. You can put everything in. Go ahead and get your helmet off. Get your uh, hat on. You cannot drive an X3 on about, I don't know what you'd call that, inch and three quarter, maybe, yeah, inch and a half, inch and three quarter of ice. So what happened is, I think they call it frazzle ice, we got a bunch of snow on some decent ice, and then the UV rays come down through it, they can't get back out, they heat that layer of snow up and it starts to melt. So then, once you get it to melt far enough up, it starts to freeze. So what we have here is a layer, a layer of frozen ice from all that slush. Actually, it's pretty deep here. It's like probably three, four inches of water. Then there's that next layer of ice. Uh, but you will break through an inch and a half pretty easy. You go through it instantly. My fear was sometimes that bottom layer of ice, if you get too much water on it, can sink. I'm coming out here today. As soon as I took off, I felt the thing drop through. I'm like, oh no, we're in trouble. But luckily that second layer of ice is still there. We were riding on that to get out. But yeah, this is pretty sketchy. You can see our trails. We're just dropping through everywhere. Anywhere where the snow's a little deeper, it hasn't had a chance to freeze like this and get a little more solid. 
this stuff's pretty good, but you can see the pockets where the deeper snow drifts were. It's still pretty soft. My foot was shaking, my hands were shaking. I was just hoping and praying. I'm like, oh, please be a second layer. But we made it, we didn't sink. But I won't be coming out here for a while. The thing I'm upset about now is I got some big old massive ruts that once it does freeze, this is gonna be terrible to hit. So I'm not excited about that at all. This will be a nightmare. So hopefully we can get some more snow and packing on this and get this stuff froze. But there has not been a single person on this river yet this year. I've been out here a couple times with the X3. Apparently I'm the dumbest one around. <laughs> Snowmobilers won't even come out here. Um, but typically, when I had my sled back in the day, I'd bomb this river. And if you're flying fast, you wouldn't even fall through this on a sled. And that's the key is keep your speed up. But hitting this thing now, it's like you're hitting open water or you're slamming on the brakes. It just, it stops you almost instantly. So I won't be out here for a little bit yet. It's supposed to be single digits all week. Hopefully this stuff will freeze up a little bit better. But we'll see. Not fun. Bank and drive up it. 